Hi guys, welcome back to another brand new YouTube channel video. So, as I'm refreshing everything and um, upscaling things and um, not doing the normal content, I thought I'd try a different style of video and do a little cooking show um, to up more for the YouTube channel and uh, see how well it does and if it does as well and there's another idea for what I can do so it is going to be Hello Fresh Speedy Spank Bowl that is not what I call it it is literally called that and the ingredients you need for this is an onion garlic clove or if you don't want to use a garlic clove, what I, what we, me and my mum have been using while we're cooking is garlic granules or garlic salt, as some people like to call it. Then you need some minced beef. Obviously, if you're only cooking for two people, you only need a small thing like that. Need, on the snake you need chopped tomatoes and um, it can be chopped tomatoes out of the cupboard or for Hello Fresh it is on the snake comes with chopped tomatoes and um, spaghetti red red wine dew don't ask me what that is um, grated hardened cheese Italian style and uh, baby spinach. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave baby spinach out because me and my mum don't like, like spinach. Uh, equipment what you need to for this is a sieve for draining the water and the biscotti or pasta a saucepan, a frying pan or a wok. Now, here's one thing I would say. If you are using a wok, do not walk away and leave it on the heat. Because I did that once and I ended up setting smoke alarms off. So I wouldn't recommend walking away and leaving it on the heat. So, I've just put the ring on for the wok and just went let that warm up. Then flip over to the instructions. So step one, get prepped. Yeah. The onion. Um but I'm using a shallot, not a onion. I don't know what the difference is between a shallot and an onion is. So don't bother asking me because I am not Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver who knows it all who knows all the stuff all the name of all the stuff you cook with I'm just a normal person um, and that so I'm going to get my saucepan and put water in it and bring it to the boil with half a tablespoon of salt. Now, I don't really put salt in um, the pasta water. The pasta water, because sometimes it can make it a little bit too salty, if you get what I mean. So while I'm chopping stuff, I'm just going to half the pasta. Because my mum wouldn't really like pasta, but I do. And all of that been a bit too much for one person. And I'm going to cheap a bit. Because my saucepan isn't large. I'm going to snip it in half. That's that. 
So my pasta's in the water. I'm just going, I'm not going to put half a teaspoon. I'm going to just put, it's a one of them, what you twist. One of them, just three twists. And I'm just going to put it in because I've got a feeling that I'm just going to set the smoke alarms off anyway. Wait, the smoke alarms coming off that walk. So, I'm going to chop my onion, I'm going to take that off the heat, the heat. And just put it on the sink. Oh, that chopping board. Just wait, ring. Rinse the chopping board um, and that and try it. I'll just use it all the time. So, you are going to chop your gal, the garlic, your onion. Excuse me, the bags. It's nothing to do with this. So, so with a shallot, I'm going to top and tail it. So basically what top and tail means, you cut the top off, you cut the bottom off. It's the walk. Well, I say it's the walk and it's mainly the uh, hob. Do me a favour, walk behind the camera and bring me the keys. Because I don't think this window, uh, uh, just having this window open enough. Very technical next. The camera is not on, it's quite in that way. Thank you. Oh, it's a good idea if I'm cooking, open pack door. So. Just go in, chop the shallot into small circles. Like so. Then heat and drizzle a large frying pan on a medium heat once the oil is hot and the mince and the meat. I'm coming around again. God knows how many ice cream fans my street sees in one day. So, the pan's back on the heat. Just a splash of oil. Then once it comes up to heat, you're going to add your meat speed. Or if you want to cheat, plus I know some people do like cheating, there's a cheat uh, way here. Right. Just buy some pasta, cook it, and buy some um that bolognese thing. Do it. Do it that way. Smoke clouds like the water. Don't do what I just done.
So you just pop and turn your meat while it's cooking. I feel like I'm doing an online lesson here. So basically, when your meat's all brown, uh, it means it's cooked. So like, let's do some red, but like that, it's cooked. And your water might overboil in your pasta, but don't worry about. Then when all your mince is cooked, to like colour what I've shown you, right? You're going to add your onion. Okay, Jack, just don't. Uh, see what you don't give to the menu, no. Uh, no way. Anyway. And then, then you add your garlic. Now, I don't know if the Then, while you're doing that, just make sure your pasta ain't skip, sticking to the uh, bottom of your saucepan. I have done that before and it's hell to get off. Then your garlic, then stir for one minute. Stir yep. for one minute. Then you need your chopped tomatoes and red wine paste, basically. Because the wok gets too hot. I'm not going to have to leave it on the hot. Well, I'm bringing yeah, them. And give me a second. Now I've got a pair and pair of scissors. And we're going to just cut. Apparently, you can just tear the chopped tomatoes. But I'm not going to do that. Because Jack doesn't do things in the same way. Jack does it hard way. And these are very, very, very finely chopped tomatoes. Oh, this is a pair of inside the sink. So I'm just going to get one minute it's sunny, next minute it's dull, next minute it's windy, next minute it's rainy. That's things on for you. As then, there you add your red wine paste, I'm going to call it. Mm. 
it's taking some doing. Um, now when you find your chop to that as your end rain paints, I'm going to call it, you just simmer on a low heat. So you just go and let it simmer for a bit. Meanwhile, while this is simmering on a low heat, which I don't trust they simmer on a low heat, I trust that it burns. I put it up to one side. That red wine sounds powerful. Meanwhile, we drain your pasta from your oil, from your water. Like so. Here's a tip for you. Wash up as you go. Don't do what I do. Leave it to last minute. What I'm going to do is we serve it in a pasta dish. Wait. Well, they're not really pasta dishes. They're uh, dishes that be smaller. Less sh uh, shallower, shall we say. And uh, pasta in one dish, but only one person's having pasta. And then put that. And just simmer this for a bit longer. Then serve it. Serve it. And it is literally that simple. It says it takes, it's a family meal, 35 to 40 minutes. No, it won't. Well, it has took me 35 minutes to do. Less than 35 minutes, actually. Because I started it, as soon as I started this, and I've only been recording for 17 minutes. Um, and that. So, yeah. So, I was just going to cook the tomatoes while well, simmer it for a bit. But if I simmer it, simmer cooking for any longer, then I won't get out left of it. So, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to serve it, it says with spinach, but what I'm going to do instead of spinach is sugar snack peas. Now that is going to sound weird to some of you, but it doesn't sound weird to me. Then I'm going to get a serving spoon and serve it up. Like so. And if there's any left, all you could always do is um, put it in a Tupperware dish. Like there's some less left. Quite a bit left. Put it in a, a Tupperware dish, put it in the fridge and keep it for another night. Because I've got some pasta left. I've got some that left. Bingo, there's my dinner for tomorrow. But I'm not going to have it for my dinner tomorrow. So I'm going to leave it to one side. I'm probably going to have it later on. In this kitchen, I can never ever find anything in. Then I'm just going to drizzle a bit of mozzarella on the top of it. Of it. And serve with Four sugar snap peas. And voila! You have homemade pasta and bolognese sauce. 
And all you do is sit back and relax with a can of honey cider. There's the meal. Thank you for watching guys, much appreciated and I will catch you in the next one.